So there's been a lot of changes in the real estate market, interest rates over 7.5%. In today's video, we're going to give you a market update on Scottsdale. We'll take a look at inventory and see if it's up or down, and we'll take a look at what's going on with the pricing. Hi, my name is Michael Smith. Some people call me Smitty. I'm a real estate agent in the greater Phoenix area, Scottsdale and Paradise Valley. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you like the information we're providing. In the meantime, let's get into the information. So one of the things we always like to look at is see where we're at year over year. Right now, if we look at the average price per square foot year over year in Scottsdale, it's currently up at $491, which is up from $478 in April of last year. You can see Paradise Valley was the number one, up 12.9% year over year. We just did a video on Paradise Valley, if you're interested in that. It should be on the channel when we're finished with this video. Just take a look at the Paradise Valley market update. When we look at what's happening to the market, this is the real key right here. Inventory has gone up quite a bit. It's putting downward pressure on pricing and days on market. Right now with the interest rates over 7.5%, a lot of buyers can't afford to buy your home. And with more inventory, the buyers have more options. And right now, I will tell you guys, the buyers are being very picky right now. Every little thing that comes up on the inspection, they're going to want it fixed or they're going to want a credit for it. 50% of all transactions under 600, 700,000, 50% of those are going to have seller concessions, meaning the seller is helping the buyer to buy the home by either buying down the rate or the closing costs and stuff. Right now, you can see this red line is 2022. You can see the inventory in Scottsdale was down at 476. 2023, it was right up here at 1588. And starting out the year was 1588, and now we're at 1995. So you can see how low the inventory was in 2022. It got higher as the year went on. 2023 it was low went lower and then it started to climb by the end of the year right now you can see it's basically shooting up and it's substantially higher than it was in 2023 and 2022 again that puts downward pressure on pricing and gives people more opportunities now it's unaffordable for many people to even live in Scottsdale I had some people out here looking at some homes in Scottsdale and there was Slim Pickens under 850000 if you wanted to be in a nice community. At the current inventory, though, we're seeing prices that we haven't seen for a while. Right now, for single-family homes in Scottsdale, there's currently 1,279 properties on the market, the lowest price being 425000 That's out in Rio Verde. And then on the high side, there's a property listed for $54 million. Now, there's only a couple places that you're going to see those higher prices in Scottsdale, and that's primarily in Silverleaf. Comparable properties are going to be down in Paradise Valley. Last week, I was a home in a home in Silverleaf for $25 million. It was real high up, had great views, beautifully furnished. It was an amazing house. Next thing we want to look at right now is how many are pending. So in a good market, you're going to absorb a lot of the inventory each month. And right now we have 510 single family homes pending in Scottsdale. And that's very good considering we have 1,200 on the market. In Paradise Valley, we only had uh, 57 homes pending with 260 on the market. Every market's a little bit different, and of course, we understand that you can't compare South Scottsdale to North Scottsdale. It's completely different. But overall, in South Scottsdale, we're seeing a lot of people that have Airbnbs liquidate their properties. They're finding out it's a lot tougher now. The cost of running it is higher, and they have a lot more competition. So a lot of these homes that were in Old Town Scottsdale that were Airbnbs are now going on the market for sale. They have been for about the last year, and many of those homes are being sold. 
The next thing we want to look at are the lots that are for sale in Scottsdale. Right now there's 135 lots for sale, starting price at about 120,000 and going up to 10 million. Now the one thing about the lots in Scottsdale that's kind of different than many other places, a lot of these lots are irregular lots that are out in the desert or have a lot of rocks and uh, drainage things that you have to take into consideration if you're going to buy and build a home. So the, the, the lots that are harder to build on are always going to be less expensive and then the lots in the gated and guard gated communities are going to be a lot higher. So that's just a quick market summary of Scottsdale. Right now the bottom line is with interest rates being over 7.5%, a lot of people can't buy a home. We're going into our slow season right now in the summer, so we'll see what happens to the market. But overall, inventory is up substantially, and when inventory goes up, buyers start to take control of the market. They're more in control. They have a lot more options. They can look at more properties, and they're definitely right now being a lot pickier during the home inspection. And we're seeing a lot of canceled contracts. We even had one cancel a week ago. The sellers could not sell their home and our sale was contingent on them selling. You are seeing a lot more contingencies being accepted by sellers right now because they're not getting the amount of showings that they were in the past. Don't forget to take, it our, take a look at our website which is www.soldbysmitty.com. You can search for Scottsdale Properties, Phoenix Properties, Paradise Valley Properties. 55 plus communities. We have it all in tabs on our website. Take a look at that. Thanks for watching today. Please hit the subscribe button or the like button or share this video with your friends. Don't forget to take a look at our social media too. On Facebook, we put out a lot of good blog articles. Have a great day.